with me, but I Chris, Ian, and Kelly, who all loved it. I hated it immediately. <laughs> but I didn't say anything. Well, it's because that's me. But, but we, we didn't say anything to anyone because we were Canadian, and we were trying to be polite, and we didn't want to hurt anyone's feelings. So there, there was a lot of speaking Canadian. There was a lot of... I, I, it just felt a little bit like the opening of a theme park show, and I love a good theme park show, but it just wasn't right for what we were trying to accomplish. So I hated it, and then um, and then our music director Ian, his wife heard it, and she hated it. So then. Ian and I hated it. <laughs> <laughs> but, but Chris still staged it, and Ian arranged it, and Kelly choreographed it, and Hal lit it, and, and we did it all. Like the, the cast memorized the entire thing, memorized the choreography, we did it all. And then Chris was like, So what do you think? Should we put it in front of an audience? And suddenly Irene says, No, it shouldn't be in our show. <laughs> And, and just like that, it's out. And, and Chris turns to her and he says, congratulations, you just learned to speak American. <laughs> so as controversial as that first number was, the next song is easily the most rewritten song in the show. Um, most duets between women are about romance or about fighting with each other or fighting about romance. But I wanted to find something that was a little bit different. So although this song eventually got expanded to see to show multiple points of view from different characters, both their positive and negative experiences in the other, this was originally a duet between Beverly and Diane. This is the original costume party. <laughs> Built with strangers sleeping, an airplane blanket, and pillow on the floor. The sun comes in through the window, and I can't sleep anymore. I woke up and couldn't remember where I was. Oh my god, we're still here. <laughs> Kevin's air mattress deflated, but after everything, neither of us would have slept all that well anyway. Ryan Rogers says that I am lying on air at 7 a.m. I haven't slept a wink, but I get on a clean Rogers shirt, splash some cold water on my face, and then I just shake in front of the camera. Ryan hands me a primer note, and then he counts me down. Four, three, two, one, go. I woke up this morning, Nick was snoring, and everything was different. I felt different. Being kind of lost. I made my way across and wound up in the ladies room. Trust. 
Sierra 4 When compared to Dior and Versace The Ellis Mid is like you Same shot like Ezra Valentino And Kenneth Phil Blast and Vuitton DK in my mark Dick D. Salem Long Then Rayon Once you cry on Paul Dessarini Swab and Rich the Food Or think of James Bond But compared to Six Or think of Don Juan But the more just do Because whatever you think of a man Is the man who demands the plans Of every model in the land <laughs> Customers, when you get home, you're getting reimbursed, right? Yeah, there's stuff. There's this guy in Toronto, Les Minion. This stuff was his idea. I'll take the underwear, though. Walmart underwear is uh, unfortunate. <laughs> so, tell me about your story. So there I was, hanging out behind the school with one of the most influential men in the history of the fashion industry. The next day, I'm back in St. John's and have a big customer appreciation day with the cheese and the crackers and chocolates and the caviar. That's what I learned that day. Even under the best suits in the world, when something like this happens, we're all just regular dudes. <laughs> Moldova, for those of you who don't know, is just south of Russia, 
and we immediately jumped to the conclusion that we should write a song in Russian. <laughs> <laughs> It's not, it's not that crazy. Eventually, we wrote a song in Swahili, which is currently on your page. But, but at the time, it was kind of crazy. So we consulted experts. We figured out how to pronounce the uh, pronounce every single word. Uh, I actually just tested it the other day. I went and got my hair cut, and I found out that the, the, my barber was from Russia. And I was like, can I just run this by you? Real quick? So we're, pretty, we're pretty solid. Anyway, so we went through this entire process of making sure it was right and exact, and everyone from Russia would know exactly what we were saying, and then we cut it. <laughs> so, uh, so I am thrilled tonight to uh, debut the only song we have ever written in Russia. <laughs> <laughs> out at the Baptist church where the passengers don't speak any English. We're told they're from Moldova, which isn't really that helpful since no one in Gander speaks Moldova. <laughs> anyway, there's a lot of miming and pointing going on and a whole lot of confusion and this one guy comes up to me with a baby box. And somehow he minds that he needs it warmed up so we go down to the kitchen and I pop it in the microwave. Turn it on for 30 seconds is when he starts to freak out and start yelling at me. And I'm trying to calm him down. I take the baby bottle, I take it out of the microwave, and I give it back to him. And he's just gobsmacked. He's got no idea how it got warm. He looks at me, and then he runs back upstairs to his family. <laughs> he is showing them the bottle and telling them about our magic microwave. <laughs> But when I notice that his wife is reading a Bible that they brought with them, so I ask to see it, and I, I, I can't read it, obviously, but their Bible has the same number system that ours does. So I grab one of our Bibles, and I'm flipping for something, and then in Philippians 4, 6, I give them their Bible, and I'm pointing, and I'm saying, look, Philippians 4, 6, be anxious for nothing. And that's how we started speaking the same language. Hey, hi, I can say anything, all that I hear is la 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 la. Hey, hi, when I say anything, all that you hear is exactly the same. Hey! <laughs> so, uh, Irene sent uh, one of the very, very first drafts of the show to the NAPS Festival. She submitted it from her hospital bed two days after giving birth to our daughter, Mom. Oh. I think it probably earned me another day in the hospital because I kept telling them that I was taking a show to New York and uh, I had the baby in one hand and I'm wearing a breast pump and I'm trying to type on the computer and like text our brand new agent and I, I probably was a little crazy. <laughs> when we first took our team out to Gander, uh, our fancy Broadway director, Chris Ashley, over there, his first job was to uh, help me install a car seat. <laughs> uh, our fancy producer, Sue Frost, uh, what her first job was, was to hold this tiny infant while we uh, interviewed people at air traffic control. It's, um, it's in a village. They say, they say that it takes a village to raise a child, and it takes a huge amazing, wonderful village to raise a child while raising a new musical. And we've been incredibly lucky, needless to say, to work with such a supportive community. Um, our daughter called them for people, including everybody on the stage. And this next song is a tribute to mothers. Hannah, come back to my house. I'll put the kettle on, you can freshen up a bit, okay? On the way over, she worried. Of course she's been worrying since she first heard. Mothers are the best worriers in the world. We worry when he's on a swing set. We worry he's 
three cents and 99 percent people in this room, but I also just want to say it was singularly the most requested thing. Um, so in the very beginning, in fact, it was our, uh, it was the Nick and Diane audition scene, there was this scene where, am I supposed to be talking? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, how, what did you say? You know how there's all these walks in, in the beginning, every time. I always said, uh, all that Diane says, I'm going for a walk. And Jim would say, the only thing that Beverly says is, uh, the wings are picking up. <laughs> <laughs> so this was, this was Nick and Diane's first, first scene. And I think that it was based on like a real thing, that, that the real, I mean, everything is, right? The real Nick and Diane went for a walk, and Diane, being from Texas, walking along and there were seals and she explained as it says in the script seals <laughs>
I got to throw my daughter Sherry out three times. I'm almost 18. You're 15. I'm going as I am going. And I think, no one here knows me. I can be whoever I want to be. I'm not worried about my wallet. I'm not worried about my
name's Tommy Chow. He wasn't able to make it to the 10 year anniversary in Gander, so he traveled two and a half hours to the Westway Diner just to tell us about how life changing his time in Newfoundland had been. This is Bob's song. My father's waiting at the airport. Like he's been standing there every day. Feel this hand the old man smile through the tears. Welcome back, he says. We go straight down to ground zero. It's like the end of the world. Still burning, I turn and look into the pit. Thinking where I was to die of a job of ten fire. My father's not an emotional man. He never cries. I used to think he had no fears. But my father was a fireman. And though he's now retired, there's a part of him he's kept inside his heart. A part that can't stop crying. He my father says, was it okay when you were stranded? And I'm thinking about apples and then heaven on earth. I don't know what to say. We landed where we landed. But I wasn't just okay back there. I was almost someone else back there. We brought it back home across the bridge. I looked behind me in the rearview mirror. The scenes I had seen since I was just a kid. And in the middle, in the distance, like a piece of reminiscence, like a part of me cut out, I look behind me at the town and something's missing. My father's not an emotional man, he never cries, I used to think he had no tears. But my father was a fireman, and though he's now retired, there's a part of him he's kept inside his heart, a part that can't stop crying. He
every person who supported us in developing these songs and this material in six years of the Chester County Rock Band. It was the first song we wanted to celebrate how acts of kindness can ripple from one person to the next, becoming bigger and bigger. But more than anything, the song conveys our personal journey with Come Go Away, that we never know where one small act will lead us. Mr. Mayor, I saw your car in the lot. You might want to get down to City Hall. At City Hall, there's one of the pilots, Captain Beverly Bass from American Airlines, came back with a bag of donations from the passengers, delivering them personally. One passenger paid for a new roof for our turfs. The passengers in Appleton raised $10,000. Some of the plane people were from the Rockefeller Foundation. Who knew? <laughs> Apparently they had trouble getting internet, so they you know, donated $50,000 for a new computer lab. Just by passing the hat, we raised $15,000, which will soon be worth a million.
Joel Hatch never got to sing this song on Broadway, so he still does it for some of the students that he works with. And it's the song that I miss the most that we cut from the show. And one of the main reasons we did the concert tonight was so that you could hear Joel sing. <laughs> They asked me here today to be a warning. Resilience for my community. But I'm not sure that it's right that I'm here tonight with all these other people here beside me. There's a woman to my left who lost her son. There's a CEO who lost all of his crew. And I don't think that it's right that I am here tonight, awarded for what one just had to do. But I am proud of my town, proud of my community, and proud to say I come from New Don't count if they are done with pride. Awards and ceremonies aren't a fitting way to pay respect for all the people who have died. After all is said and the awards are given out, the mother hugs me, says thanks for all you've done. She says, kindness, human kindness, is what this world needs more of now. You've given me the strength to carry on. I don't know what to say, so I simply mumble thanks. And I shyly shake the CEO's hand. Maybe it is right that I am here tonight. I wish everyone was here from Newfoundland Singing songs about our home and native land Give me a hey-ho, wash your backs and go at eyes and then But I row until we see the harbour lights Give me a hey-ho, wash your backs and go at eyes and then Ten years ago, we started a normal day. 
We didn't know the world would change. Little did we know the role we each would play. Tonight, we honor what was lost, but we also commemorate what we found.